Hey y'all, DG Outdoors here again. Um, I got my shotgun tore apart because to get ready for dove season, I have to put this plug in here, and I'm hoping it's that simple. I looked up videos on how to do it, and I pulled the shotgun apart, and it wasn't what I thought. But I can only hold three shells in my shotgun, which now holds five. So we're going to try to put this thing in there. Hopefully it'll work okay. But I really don't want to bunge this thing down in there. I've never done this before, so you guys are learning with me. So let me move this camera down here. Slide her down. There you go. Point it towards the car where I got all my stuff over here. Because I wanted to go through and show you guys all of what I got for uh, dove hunting season. So we'll see if this thing is going to work the right way. If I can get it down in there. Come on in there, boy. There you go. I got this little cap right here I gotta put back in there. Oh, it's gonna shoot right out at me if I don't. Come on now, get down in there. There you go. Dang it. I really don't want to lose this spring out of here or bend it. If you guys can see me better if I back up the camera here. trying to get this spring down in here this thing is so rusty I've never ever ever taken it apart before so damn it let me pause the video and get back with you guys on this all right guys I'm pretty sure I got the little metal piece back down in there right now we got to put the barrel back on the shotgun okay Again, I've never done this before. Let me open up the bolt here. Looks like it's on to me. Well, let's uh, screw that cap back on. Eventually, I'm going to take this thing all apart and oil it and clean it. And all that fun stuff. But I've never done this before. But this is, I guess, going to be the intro to my video. Again. What? I've never done a gun before. So, I guess this brings me to the dove hunting video. Sorry about my language. I get frustrated easy. Mom's watching this. I apologize, Mama. We're cussing, but uh, alright, so dove hunting essentials. I got some things here. First, you need to plug in your shotgun. That was the green thing I showed you to keep the shells from uh, from being able to keep your shotgun from being able to hold five shells. And let me get in the light here. You guys can see me better right here. There you go. All right. Another thing. If you're hunting public property in the state of Indiana, you can use lead shotgun shells. But I hunt state property for the car passing. And I picked these up at Walmart for like five forty eight a box. I like the Winchester. Um, I shoot squirrels, rabbits. I sh I'll be shooting doves on my mom and dad's property with these. But uh, if I'm hunting DNR properties, sorry, like the Hillenbrand FWA, I have to use Upland Steel. And it's just got steel BBs in there instead of lead. If you're hunting ducks and geese and stuff in Indiana or nationwide, you have to use steel shot or some kind of heavy metal shot. Lead's been banned since 1991 on migratory birds. But I want to get into kind of some of the stuff you need. So I've already talked about my shotgun. That is a Remington 870 Express Magnum 20 gauge. I bought at Walmart for $327 a lot of years ago. If I ever take that thing apart again, I'm about to clean all that stuff out of there. 
Um, but what's the first step you're gonna need? You're gonna need a good set of camouflage. And I like Real Tree Max 5 when it comes to dove hunting or bird hunting because I look like the grass and I'm hunting over huge fields. Another thing I bought was some uh, Game Winner Foam Dove Decoys. You put these in the trees and they'll, they'll come flying down on this is what these look like. I just got these. I showed you guys my um, Real Tree Max 5. That looks like that camo pattern of clothing over there. Uh, the burlap I bought to make a little blind for myself. Um, but let's see if this is going to hold three shells. Real quick. Make sure I did it right. I dropped the plug down and it should be able to hold two in the chamber. Okay. One, two, it's not letting me do a third one, should we rack one, okay, should be able to put another one in there, but you can only fit three in there, see look, I'm trying to push another one in there, it is not letting me, so now I'm legal, take my shotgun and hunt doves and ducks and all kinds of stuff but there's one more thing i'm going to show you guys after i unload all these all right i'll be back y'all are gonna need a good pair of boots these are uh it's because i think i paid 80 bucks for them at orsland's in linton indiana but they're only 200 grain thinsulin so they'll keep you cool on them warm days but they'll also keep the snakes out of you and all the mosquitoes I wear my short hikers, and let me tell you, man, I got mosquitoes bit all over me. But um, let me give you a recap on these shells so you guys know what brand I'm talking about. So for dove hunting, squirrel hunting, rabbit hunting, the Winchester Super Speed 20 gauge, uh, seven and a half shot will work good. You can use these for squirrels, rabbits, and stuff on private property and public. You can hunt doves with these on public, on private property. I'm sorry, private property. But on public property where I'm going to hunt, I have to use the steel shot. And let me tell you, I went to Academy Sports in Terre Haute, Indiana today. I couldn't find hardly anything in 20 gauge that I wasn't going to pay $16 a box for 25. That is a lot of money. But I found those at Walmart, these right here, in Terre Haute, Indiana, for $5.94 box for $25. I'm a budget hunter, y'all. I'm not getting paid for any of this stuff. But uh, just like the journey with the shotgun, putting the plug in, I hope y'all uh, join me on the dove hunts. I'm going to try to film them. They may not turn out that well, but it's all an adventure, and y'all are going with me. So thanks for joining me.